Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope we're doing great today. Happy Sunday. We got 14 matchups on this MLB slate today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. Really close to 22.1K subs. Keep up the good work. Check out all my betting links in the description below. Vandals got a really good promo, guys. New customers bet five, get 200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Also, you're going to get a three week trial of Sunday ticket as well. Take advantage of that. Uh, getting ready for football season. Um, really good value. Probably one of the best promos I've seen. Take advantage of that in the description below. Also, with DraftKings, they pretty much have about the same offer, except you get a month of NFL. I believe it's NFL Plus for a month. So you can get Red Zone for a whole month. So take advantage of that, guys, in the description below. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Busy slate today as we close out the weekend. 14 matchups. Starting with the Cincinnati Reds versus the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pirates opening up as slight home favorites at minus 115. The Reds minus 105 with the over under at eight and a half. Reds coming into this matchup 62 and 67. Pittsburgh 61 and 67. Um, let's see. Yeah, pitching for Pittsburgh is Luis Ortiz with an ERA of 6.26. Uh, currently, it's TBD for Cincinnati. We'll see who ends up getting listed for the Reds today. Uh, Ortiz. Um, yeah, coming off some bad starts here. Uh, he's given up four, two, four, six, and three in his last five games. Hasn't been the best on the mound here. Um, you got Cincinnati dropping back-to-back -back games against Pittsburgh. Losing their last game 6-5. to five. Uh, Pittsburgh, I don't know, this is kind of just an ugly-looking matchup. Ortiz hasn't been that, gr had been that great on the mound. The Reds, uh, they've struggled the last two here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Definitely not pr probably one of the worst games on the slate. We'll see he ends up pitching for the Reds, but, you know... Ortiz has, hasn't been very reliable. That's what makes me reluctant on here. Uh, Reds lost a close one yesterday. I don't know. Something about Ortiz I'm just not in love with. Um, I think I'm going to take a shot with the Reds plus one and a half on the road today. Next matchup, we've got the Arizona Diamondbacks versus the Boston Red Sox. Boston opening up his home favorites at minus 135. Arizona plus 115 with the over under at nine and a half. Arizona coming into this matchup 73 and 56. Austin 67 and 70. Uh, pitching for Arizona is Merrill Kelly with an ERA of 4.18. Pitching for Boston is Tanner Houck with an ERA of 4.25. Kelly, his last start, he pitched uh, five innings, gave up six runs. At four strikeouts. Coming off one of his worst starts, giving up six runs, because he's been pretty solid for them these last four games prior. He's given up two, one, two, and two. So consistently been giving up two, just coming off a rough game. Uh Hauk. Coming off three decent games, he's given up three, two, and one in his last three. Um Arizona. On a five-game winning streak, back-to-back -back wins against Boston. They played well this series. Um, yeah, they're playing well. Boston really hasn't played well at all right now. Um, man, you're getting good money with Arizona today on the road. They've looked good in this series. Kelly's been good on the mound. I'll take the D-backs plus one and a half on the road in this one. Next matchup, we've got the Colorado Rockies versus the New York Yankees. Yankees opening up his home favorites at minus 275. Rockies plus 225 with the over under at nine. Rockies coming into this matchup 48 and 82. The Yankees 76 and 54. Pitching for the Rockies is Austin Gomber with an ERA of 4.39. Pitching for the Yankees is Marcus Stroman with an ERA of 5.24. Gomber, his last start. He pitched seven innings, gave up one run. Had five strikeouts from in his last start. He pitched six innings, gave up zero runs, had five strikeouts. He's coming off one of his better starts of the season here. 
uh, Rockies. What a game yesterday. I mean, definitely killed everybody's parlays. Just destroying the Yankees 9-2. to two. That's what the Yankees do, man. They have these games where they're big favorites. They dominate. And then, you know, like one game in the series, they just get absolutely destroyed as a big favorite. We've seen it happen plenty of times with the Yankees so far. Um... Yeah, they actually lost with Stroman on the mound last time to Detroit. Not in love with a Gomber. He's coming off some decent games, but we've seen Gomber get lit up a lot this season. Um, I, I like a good bounce back for the Yankees. Just a crazy game yesterday. I think they get back on track. I think Stroman has a decent game. I'm going to take the Yankees at home. Next matchup, we got the Los Angeles Angels versus the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto opening up as home favorites at minus 160. Angels plus 135 with the over under at eight and a half. Angels coming into this matchup 54 and 76. Toronto 62 and 68. Pitching for the Angels is Tyler Anderson with an ERA of 5.46. Pitching for Toronto is Kevin Gosman with an ERA of 3.21. Anderson, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up five runs, had four strikeouts. Coming off some bad starts here. Coming off a five and seven run game. Um, Toronto, or Gosman, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up four runs. Had five strikeouts here. Uh, Angels, they are on a four game losing streak. Uh, they've dropped three straight to Toronto. Um, they've, they've been in close games this series, but haven't been able to get it done. Uh, Toronto. Nice little streak. Angels just haven't been able to get it get it done in this series. Don't love Anderson on the mound. I mean, he's coming off some bad starts. I think I got to take Toronto at home in this one. Next matchup, we got the Chicago Cubs versus the Miami Marlins. Cubs opening up as road favorites at minus 180. The Marlins plus 140 with the over under at 8.5. Cubs coming into this matchup 64 and 65. The Marlins 64 and 82. Pitching for the Cubs is Javier Assad with an ERA of 2.96. Pitching for Miami is Adam Aller with an ERA of 6.20. Assad, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Been solid his last four games. He's given up one, one, two, and one. So pretty consistent from Assad. Uh, Aller. Yeah, coming off some bad starts here. Um, well, actually, he's only pitched once this season. Uh, he get, pitched four innings, gave up five runs, had two strikeouts. But I'm looking back to his previous starts uh, in the last few years because he hasn't pitched that much in the majors. Giving up five, three, six. So, yeah, not the best on the mound for him. Uh, Cubs on a three-game winning streak, back-to-back -back wins against Miami. They're coming off a heater yesterday, uh, putting up 14 against Miami, winning that game 14-2. to A nice win for the Cubs. Then the Marlins, bad streak they're on, five-game losing streak. Um, yeah, love Assad on the mound. Give me the Cubs on the road. Next matchup, we got the Texas Rangers versus the Cleveland Guardians. Cleveland opening up its home favorites at minus 125. The Rangers plus 110 with the over-under at 8.5. Rangers coming into this matchup 60 and 69. Cleveland 73 and 55. Pitching for the Rangers is Cody Bradford with an ERA of 2.86. Pitching for Cleveland is Matthew Boyd with an ERA of 4.24. Bradford, his last start, he pitched 7 innings. Gave up 3 runs, had 8 strikeouts. Boyd, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, had two strikeouts. Uh, Rangers uh, on a two-game winning streak, coming off a. You see, that's accurate. I felt like Cleveland just played them. Could be wrong. Go back. Yeah, Guardians won yesterday. Man, it's crazy, guys. These these like professional sites I look at, they do not give the most updated stats sometimes. This is two days in a row where uh, I don't have the updated stats. So that is pretty annoying. Um, 
We had Guardians big win yesterday, 13 to 5. Uh, ending their three game losing streak they were on. We've seen the Guardians, they've been struggling. One and I guess they're they were one and six in their last seven before getting that win yesterday. Um you know the pitching matchup. It's pretty even, I would say. Um unlike in the plus money with the Rangers, I just haven't seen enough from Cleveland. They've been struggling. I, I gotta take the I gotta take the Rangers plus one and a half on the road today. Next matchup, we've got the Washington Nationals versus the Atlanta Braves. Braves opening up as home favorites at minus 190. Washington plus 160 with the over-under at 8.5. Washington coming into this matchup 58-71. and 71. The Braves 69-59. and 59. Pitching for the Nationals is DJ Hers with an ERA of 2.96. Pitching for the Braves is Reynaldo Lopez with an ERA of 2.77. Uh, Lopez, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, had 10 strikeouts. <clears throat> Ers, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Ers consistently gives up two runs. He's given up two, 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 zero, two in his last five. Um, Lopez been good. He's had his good starts this year. <clears throat> Definitely coming off some good, a good, very good strikeout game for him. Uh, Braves being the Nationals' last game uh, or yesterday, four to two, nice win for the Braves. Uh, they're on a little two-game winning streak or three-game winning streak. Right? They're playing very well right now. I don't know. Not not in love with the Nationals. Hers hasn't been horrible. So I don't hate the maybe a Nationals play, but I don't know. I like Lopez at home, coming off a monster strikeout game, and uh, I just like the Braves in this series at home. I'm gonna roll with Atlanta in this one. Next matchup, we've got the Detroit Tigers versus the Chicago White Sox. Detroit opening up his road fit favorites at minus 135. The White Sox plus 115 with the over under at nine. Detroit coming into this matchup 63 and 66. The White Sox 31 and 98. Pitching for Detroit. Currently, it's to be determined. So we'll see who ends up pitching for Detroit today. Pitching for the White Sox is Jonathan Cannon with an ERA at 3.64. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up five runs at four strikeouts. Uh, Detroit coming off a big win against uh, the White Sox yesterday, 13 to four. Uh, they're on a two game winning streak right now. They've looked good in this series. White Sox playing like the White Sox. You know, they are three and seven in their last 10. Uh, White Sox, this, if they lose today, this would be their 100th loss. So that would be pretty crazy, uh, for the first team to have that happen. So, um, We'll see who ends up pitching for Detroit. I mean, Cannon, he's had good starts this season, but coming off two bad starts, I just don't trust the White Sox. Obviously, it's worked out this season. Detroit's looked really good in this series so far. I'll take Detroit on the road. Next matchup, we got the St. Louis Cardinals versus the Minnesota uh, Twins. Twins opening up as home favorites at minus 135. St. Louis plus 115 with the over-under at 8.5. Cardinals coming into this matchup 64 and 64. The Twins 71 and 57. Pitching for St. Louis is Eric Fetty with an ERA of 5.26. Pitching for Minnesota is Zebby Matthews with an ERA of 3.60. Fetty, his last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had two strikeouts. Uh, Matthews has only pitched twice this season. He's given up two runs in both games, so. You know, pretty good average starts there. Uh, Fetty, you know, he's been okay. You know, nothing. You're not really too excited about Fetty on the mound. He gives up runs. Uh, you got Minnesota. Coming off a win yesterday, I believe. Yeah, winning 6-0. to zero. They actually shut out the Cardinals after uh, losing 6-1 to one prior. Um, I'm just not sold on Fetty here. 
uh, you had the Cardinals. They were coming into that last game pretty hot. But um, I like Minnesota. Matthews, two quality starts on the mound. Big game yesterday. I think they respond well again today. Give me the Twins at home in this one. Next matchup, we've got the Philadelphia Phillies versus the Kansas City Royals. Royals opening up as home favorites at minus 135. Phillies plus 115 with the over-under at 9.5. Phillies coming into this matchup 74 and 54. Kansas City 72 and 56. Uh, the Phillies, currently it's TBD, so we'll see what happens with the Phillies. A lot of TBDs today, guys. That's just how it is. Uh, the Royals, it's going to be Seth Lugo with an ERA of 5.87. His last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up two runs, had eight strikeouts. Coming off some bad starts, Lugo. He's coming off a two, seven, four, one, and six. Uh, he either has real, some good games or he gets really lit up here, which I don't know if I really love. Um, the Phillies. Let me check. Yeah, coming off a monster win yesterday for the Phillies, winning 11-2, to two, ending their two-game losing streak they were on. Uh, Royals are playing very well. And um, yeah, Phillies with a big win. I do not like Lugo on the mound. He's just too inconsistent for me. And um, yeah, I, he he won their last meet, their matchup. They played the Angels. They won five to three. But his game prior, he had a Seth Lugo game where they lost 13 to three. I don't know. You got Phillies coming off a heater. Nice game yesterday. Give me the Phillies plus one and a half on the road. I think they're good dogs today. Next matchup, we got the Milwaukee Brewers versus the Oakland Athletics. Brewers opening up as road favorites at minus 125. Oakland plus 105 with the over-under at 8.5. Uh, I don't know why. These sites I'm looking at doesn't even show their record. Kind of annoying. But uh, I'll, show, I'll tell you the record here. Brewers, they're 75 and 54. The A's, 55 and 75. Um, let's see. Trying to look up the pitching right now, live. We're doing it live, guys. You guys don't even understand. The site that I go through, the stuff to make these videos, these people... The, the stats just aren't there a lot of times. And that's just how it is, and I gotta search for them. I do it for the people. Let's see if any info on this Brewers game... Yeah, I don't know why I couldn't find this. I found it on ESPN, of course, ESPN. Pitching for the Brewers is Frankie Montaz with an ERA of 4.57. His last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up zero runs, had three strikeouts. Uh, he's coming off back-to-back -back zero run games. Two good starts for Montaz. Pitching for the A's is Joey Estes with an ERA of 4.44. Um, his last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up one run, had five strikeouts. Uh, Brewers coming off a win yesterday, nine to five. They're on a two-game winning streak. Back-to-back uh, -back wins against Oakland. They've looked pretty dominant this series. Oakland, bad stretch they're on. Five-game losing streak. Haven't really looked good. Um, I'm liking Montas coming off two really good starts on the mound, giving up no runs. Give me the Brewers on the road today. Next matchup, we got the New York Mets versus the San Diego Padres. Padres opening up as home favorites at minus 120. The Mets plus 100 with the over-under at 8.5. Mets coming into this matchup 67 and 62. The Padres 73 and 57. Pitching for the Mets is Jose Quintana with an ERA of 6.75. Pitching for the Padres is Martin Perez with an ERA of 2.17. Quintana, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up seven runs, had three strikeouts. He's coming off very bad starts on the mound here. Um, he's given up seven, four, five, and three in his last four. That is just way too much right there. You got Perez. Um, he's coming off a three, one, two, one game. Yeah, he's been very solid for them. Consistently gives up one to two runs for the most part. 
Um, you had the Mets coming off a big win yesterday, winning seven to one. Been a weird series because you saw. Yeah, because you saw the game prior that got shut out seven to zero. Then they basically almost shut out the Padres yesterday. But yeah, I do not like Quintana on the mound. He has just been getting lit up here. Give me the Padres at home. Next matchup, we've got the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Tampa Bay plus 165 with the over-under at 8.5. Tampa Bay coming into this matchup 64-64. and 64. The Dodgers 77-52. and 52. Pitching for the Rays is Shane Baz with an ERA at 3.26. Pitching for the Dodgers is Gavin Stone with an ERA at 4.39. As his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, had four strikeouts. Coming off a good start, but his other games, he's given up three, four, two, and two. Stone, his last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up zero runs, had 10 strikeouts. I mean, that's got to be one of his best games of the season here. That's a monster game right there. Um... His other games, though, he's given up one, three, five, and four. So overall, he's kind of struggled here lately. Uh, Tampa Bay, big win yesterday. Uh, in extra innings, winning nine to eight. Um, yeah, ending the Dodgers, what, five game winning streak they were on? Um, I still like the Dodgers, uh, you know, the Rays. They've really struggled against Tampa Bay, especially on the road. I'd be very shocked if they get back-to-back -back games here on the road here. I like Stone coming off a monster game. I'm going to take the Dodgers at home in this one. Next matchup, we've got the San Francisco Giants versus the Seattle Mariners. Seattle opening up as home favorites at minus 145. The Giants plus 120 with the over-under at 7. Giants coming into this matchup 65-65. and 65. Seattle 65-64. and 64. Pitching for the Giants is Robbie Ray with an ERA of 5.56. Pitching for Seattle is Brian Wu with an ERA of 1.45. Ray, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, had nine strikeouts. Wu, his last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Uh, Giants beating Seattle yesterday 4-3. Um, let me double check that. Yeah, beating them four to three yesterday. Um, it's been a flip flop series right now. Uh, Seattle, they just haven't looked good. They're two and eight in their last ten. They have not played well. Wu's been good on the mound for them. Um, Ray, he's been decent. He's had that five and four run game, but three of his last five has given up one and two runs here. So not horrible, but man, just Seattle overall, they just aren't, aren't playing well. They fire their manager. I mean, things just aren't looking good for Seattle. I take the giants plus one and a half on the road today. In the last matchup, we got the Houston Astros versus the Baltimore Orioles. It's looking like Houston's opening up a slight road favorites at minus 115. Baltimore minus 105 with the over under at eight and a half. Houston coming into this matchup 69 and 59. Baltimore 75 and 55. Pitching for Houston is Usai Kakuchi with an ERA of 3.67. Pitching for Baltimore is Dean Kramer with an ERA of 3.95. Kakuchi, his last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three, gave up one run, had seven strikeouts, coming off back-to-back -back one-run games here. Kramer, his last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up one run, had seven strikeouts. Houston uh, dropping the last two to Baltimore, losing two to three yesterday. Nice wins from Baltimore here. You're looking at a pretty even pitching matchup, I would say. And uh, you're getting Baltimore as a dog at home. They've looked good the last two games. Kramer's been solid. Give me Baltimore plus one and a half here. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.